Here we see a character with an animator controller and a movement screen. If we hit play, we can play as the character. To add the Union Avatars interface, we do it like in a previous tutorial. Go to Windows, Package Manager, Union Avatars, Samples, and import the interface sample. Once imported, open it, go to the Prefabs folder, and drag the prefab into our scene. Once the prefab is created, you will see that we have some variables here. We need to fill in the organization. Inside the script, we are going to create a new variable for the animator controller. You can find these variables in the documentation or in the video description. Once created, scroll down to the setup avatar project function, where we will add the code to include the animations and movement to the character. It's as simple as taking the avatar object getting the animator component and assigning it to the variable we created earlier. And now, to add the movement, we do the same thing. Take the avatar object and add the player movement component, which is a script we have in our previous project. Once this is done, save and return to the Unity project. Now here, we will see that we don't have an animation. Go to our folder and assign it. Now we are ready to click. First, we will hide our character. When we hit play, the interface will open. It's likely that you will see you can't interact with anything. If this happens, it's likely that an event system is missing in the scene. Simply go to the plus sign, UI, Event System. Now hit play again. Enter your credentials. And here we can select one of our avatars or create a new one. I am going to use this avatar and that's it.